day friends or at least for me it is a good day uh but sadly recently a few of my roblox friends friends they got hacked so that's why i've decided you know what i'm just going to make a video giving some tips because i have been a gamer online gamer for well the first time that i can even remember was when i was like eight years old which is 17 years ago so over the course of 17 years i have I had accounts on over on, on hundreds and hundreds of sites and games and I can honestly say I've never been hacked a single time hundreds and hundreds of accounts so I'm not going to pretend that I'm an expert I'm, I'm actually very bad when it comes to computers and stuff I don't know actually a lot but uh, a lot of it comes down to very uh, simple and logical stuff. A lot of uh, people, especially a lot of kids, think you can just get hacked. That there are hackers out there and if they want to hack you, they can do that. And there's nothing you can do. That's just not true. That's just not true. In almost every way that you can get hacked, uh, you are involved. And if you don't allow in one way or another for them to get your password, then they cannot get your password and they cannot hack you. Uh, so there are, are several things. Uh, most of them are extremely simple, uh, self-explanatory, that you just shouldn't do them. But some of them are a little bit more complicated. So I will just try to go down a list um, and give you as many tips and advice as I can get to not to get hacked, not just in Roblox. This really counts for everything. But because I do a lot of Roblox on my channel, this is what I'm mainly going to focus on. But all of these tips basically apply to any game, any site. Even it, You can even apply it to the, the site for your bank or something else. So it's just... Just this video is just like try not to get hacked, uh, be safe on the internet. That's really um, what I want to do in this video. So um, let's see. I've got a list down here, a very simple list of what I wanted to talk about. Yes. First off, you cannot just get hacked like that. As I already said, um, there are several ways that you can get hacked and they all involve with, you know, you losing your password. There's no way that someone can get into your account if they don't have your password. Or every site, every game, it works with, you know, you either have a name and a password or you have an email address and a password, but there's always password or codes and things like that. And as long as you keep those, manage to keep those safe and to yourself, no one can get into any account. In this video, I want to focus on three different ways that you can get hacked that I hear the most, that I see see the most people getting hacked like that uh, the first one is just the most obvious one I shouldn't have to say it but there's always a few kids who will break this rule and that is just never tell your password to anyone it's obvious uh, just keep your password to yourself write it down somewhere uh, where no one can find it like put it down write down on a piece of paper uh, maybe put that piece of paper somewhere where you know some no one will get it uh, maybe hide it in a book something like that but keep it to yourself uh, even if it's a friend and they ask can i play on your account just for a second just never do that i know that a lot of people think yeah but i can trust my friends my friend my friends would never hack me and i'm not saying they would i'm just saying that you're taking an unnecessary risk if you give them your password you're just basically it's just not necessary. If they want to play a game or if they want to do whatever a site is for, they can just make their own account. Um, and any friend that tries to kind of force you into feeling guilty when you don't give them your password, they're not good friends. You should just not be friends with them. They, you should never trust people like that who try to force you into trusting them. Don't give your password to someone who makes you feel uncomfortable, who makes you like kind of kind of force you to trust them. Never trust those people. Never trust, uh, never unnecessarily. That's basically it. Never unnecessarily trust someone when there's no need for you for that if you ever do get tempted to give your password to someone to tell your password to someone i actually have a great tip for that and that is to just make a very embarrassing password uh it could be like a secret that you don't want to tell anyone but just just you can just make something up just make it something like um i like to put paper in my nose just I'm, I, don't know, I don't know just something really dumb just make your password something really dumb that if you would say that to someone they would laugh at you that will that will probably motivate you to never tell you i have made passwords in the past like that and i i am 100 percent sure i will never tell those passwords to anyone because they're just dumb <laughs> i just made up something really stupid and you know so that's a password that you could make um nowadays however another thing 
Uh, another way that I can ensure that I can never tell anyone my password is a different trick, uh, which I think is pretty clever. I don't know if I'm the first to think of this, probably not. Um, but instead of memorizing my passwords by my head, I memorize my passwords in my hands. Um, that, that, sounds, that might sound weird, but I like to play the piano and I can play entire songs, not because I remember the notes in my head, but because my hands remember the notes. This works for the keyboard as well. I make... Um, like let's look at a keyboard if you look at a keyboard for instance you can see that the that the keys q w e r t y they're all in a line right like my random uh, i just make random passwords like that for instance um v f r um zero one u h b and then like at that's that's a password and it looks it looks weird. I would never remember that in my head, but my hands would remember it because it's like a straight line like this, then these two keys, straight line like this, and then that key. So that's, that's if you enter that password a few times, your hands will remember it. And if someone in real life or on the internet would ask you, what is your password? You couldn't even say it because you don't know it in your head. So those are two passwords that I advise you. One of them is really embarrassing passwords. Uh, make sure to also add some numbers and symbols to them. Uh, like, um, I I like to eat expired cheese um, two three four at hashtag or something like that I don't know <laughs> I'm just making this up on the spot um, but you would never tell that or make a password like the one that I just said that's just a line of things like a QWERTY 567 um, ZXC something like that because it's, those are just lines and they are easy to remember uh, on your keyboard and in your hands but not in your head so when you have a password make sure that you write it down somewhere and that you will not lose it um, I advise you to have one place to keep all of your passwords like maybe like a little book or a little piece of paper but make sure that that is really safe because of course when you lose that piece of paper you're going to lose all of the password so make sure that it's very safe maybe duplicate it have two of them hidden somewhere in your room in your house somewhere um, make sure that you tell your parents uh, where it is so that they will help they might be able to help you keep it safe somewhere if you're a kid then it's definitely a good idea to, to just tell your parents um, um, not tell Tell them your password, but tell them where you hide the pa passwords or ask them for help on where to hide. Uh, your passwords if you have written them down that's just a good way because then if you lose them you can always ask your parents a second way that a lot of people get hacked is a thing that you actually hear a lot but a lot of people uh, take it very seriously and that is to not use the same password on multiple sites uh, this sounds like a weird thing like why could you not use the same password on multiple sites like if you use one on Roblox and one on, on a site a completely different site then who's going to find out that you have an account on both of those sites. Now that is very true. This rule is ma mainly for when you have multiple accounts uh, on sites that have to do with each other. A good example is that I once I saw a video where an, an, a real a real hacker explained how he was hacking World of Warcraft accounts, and that is actually. Um, World of Warcraft is a game uh, from a big company and it's a very safe game, you know, like they can just hack into the database with the passwords, but they can hack into those small forums where people, they just make guilds and they go to these other sites, off sites basically, and they make accounts there to talk to their guild members, to their friends from World of Warcraft, and those smaller sites, they are not very well protected, so they would hack the databases of those smaller sites and then they would check the names and the passwords that people had on those smaller sites and see if people had the same email or the same uh, names and passwords in World of Warcraft and a lot of the times that would be true and that's actually how they hacked like 99% of the people that they hacked they hacked like that so if you have um, an account on basically a game and a game fan site or two two sites or games that are similar just use different passwords uh, sometimes I break this rule when it's on sites and games that are completely different they have nothing to do with each other then i think it's probably fairly safe but if they have to do with each other just make sure you have a different password then the last one is actually the hardest one and as i said i'm not an expert on this so even to me this one is hard to understand but it all comes down to if you don't trust something don't click on it so especially when it's about roblox um there's a lot of sites and a lot of people saying free robux click on this click on this never click if you click on something 
just keep in mind that if you click on something, you can get, um, you can uh, basically download a phishing thing, which means that people can look at your passwords, can look what you're entering in your computer. People can basically look into your computer. As I said, I don't know a lot about this, so this might sound dumb to people who actually know more about it. But in my mind, this is how it works. So whenever you click anything, any site that people are sending you, or if you are on a site that, that, that's kind of like a weird site and it has all these buttons that you don't really trust, like these advertisements, don't click anything, get out of there. Only go to sites that you really trust, only click on links that you really trust. Like when you're at YouTube and in the description of a YouTube video or in the comments on YouTube, someone posts a link, just never click it. Just don't, just don't click it. Um, if you want to go somewhere, just type in the link yourself if you can uh, and make sure to only click on links that come from your friends or from people that you trust. Um, because that's how a lot of people get hacked as well. They just go to a site, they just go to a suspicious site where they can get something for free or where they can download stuff. You know, sites that are full of these advertisements, um, but they're actually full of viruses and some viruses can hack you, uh, you know, like the phishing ones. So yeah, it's really hard for me to put this to words, but it's basically, if it sounds too good to be true, uh, it probably is, uh, which is just a life tip in general. Just don't click anything that says, Oh, you've won a free PlayStation. Click here now. Just don't click it. Just don't click anything. Don't go to those sites that have lots of pop-ups or lots of advertisements everywhere. Um, just stay on safe sites. Um, and really, those are the reasons that I believe that I am still, to this day, I've never been hacked. It's because I use different passwords on different sites. Um, I keep my passwords to myself. I make complicated passwords. And I make sure that whatever I click is safe. If you're on a computer, uh, one thing that might help when you don't know whether you should click on something is that often when you're on a computer and you're on, a, on the internet, when you hover your cursor over a link, it actually shows where it goes. It actually, you don't have to click it on the bottom. It often says like, uh, this is where this link goes to. And if it's something really suspicious, just don't click it. But in general, don't click any links unless you really, really have to. And if you really trust them. And apart from that, I didn't even put this in my notes because that's how obvious it is. I think is you should have an antivirus. Um, if you do believe you've been hacked or you do believe there's a virus on your computer, make sure you have an antivirus and you scan your computer um, and you get help uh, maybe from someone who knows a lot about computers uh, more than more than I do because I actually don't know that much as I said but just to be safe make sure you always have a trust a, a good antivirus on your computer and if you've been hacked once but you've never told anyone your password then that can mean that there is a virus on your computer and that means that if you make another account you can get hacked again and again and again you just need to, to get that virus out of your computer before even putting in any passwords anywhere else because otherwise that virus is just going to see every password that you put in so that's why when you get hacked, you should instantly run an antivirus scan um, and get your computer cleaned and then try to get your uh, account back by contacting by contacting the people of the site or the game. In this case, Roblox, you can just contact them. There's probably an email address. If I can find it, I will put it in the video somewhere. Um, and you can probably send them a message and then you tell them that you've been hacked and they probably ask for like email security. If you have email security, which I advise on Roblox, just make sure you have that email security. Then they just will just send something to your email and from there you can probably get your account back. So that's uh, that's why another thing that I completely forgot once again in my notes is um, make sure you also have that extra email security on your account. If you're serious about keeping your account, if you have Robux on your account, make sure to have that email security because then if someone hacks you and has your password um, you can just use your email to get your account back so as you might have noticed I'm just rambling now because I'm just coming up with things that I forgot to put in my notes um, I'm really uh, done I should probably stop talking because I've said all the things that I wanted to say if you have any more questions just leave them in a comment and I hope that you will follow all of these tips and that you will be safe and apart from that I hope you're having an awesome day don't forget to stomp like a dinosaur